today, we will take a look at the Terrain Painting tool in the LiDAR module. The tool provides users with a terrain model, a convenient way to alter, enhance, or add features. We will begin by looking at the three brush sizes that are offered in the Terrain Paint tool. They are point, line, and area. Settings for the brush, like size, height, and feathering, can easily be set from this menu. Users will want to adjust their brush size based on what they are changing in the terrain. There are seven different operations that users can make to loaded terrain data. Let's walk through all of them. The Fill Gaps option in the menu allows users to fill gaps in the terrain. For demonstration purposes, the brush size has been set to area. As you can see, the areas that are missing data have been filled in. This is done by calculating the inverse distance weighting from nearby pixels to fill in the areas that have no elevations. The smoothing operation performs a focal average for all of the cells inside the brush area that have been selected, based on the size of the selected area. Raising the terrain height will incrementally increase the height of the terrain in the brush area. Here, we will use the point brush style. Conveniently, if you create a point, line, or area in error, you can use the undo button and start again. You can also lower the terrain height, which will incrementally decrease the height of the terrain in the specified area, in this case, a line. Users can also set terrain height, which will raise or lower the terrain height to a set elevation within the specified area. Setting the terrain to no data will erase the specified part of the terrain and set it to null or no data value. Users can also use the Revert to Original Heights option to reset all or part of the terrain to its original values. To learn more about the Terrain Paint tool, check out the Knowledge Base linked below.